everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do this zipper wound over the eye. But the first thing you want to do is apply a hydrating lotion and a primer if you're going to be using this makeup for Halloween all night. This Halloween makeup can be used with any costume you'd like. The first step is to open the zipper. Then you want to measure it onto your face where you'll be applying it. Once you've measured where you want the zipper to go, you want to mark it with some dotted lines. It could be with a black eyeliner, pencil, or any black makeup that you have. Then what you want to do is apply some spirit gum on the zipper and on your face. Don't worry, this is a cosmetic glue which is safe to apply on your face. Be very careful, you don't want to get this in your eyes. Once you've applied some spirit gum onto your face and onto the zipper, what you want to do is press the zipper onto your face for about 60 to 90 seconds, that way it sticks on. You can also apply some tape. Once the spirit gum has dried, what you want to do is remove the tape. Since I'm going to be reusing this zipper for another Halloween tutorial, I won't be cutting the zipper, but if the zipper is too long for you, what you can do is adjust it to your size and cut it with some scissors. Then what you want to do is apply some foundation and set it with powder. If you want your face to appear more pale, make sure you apply some white Halloween makeup. Another option would be to apply a louder foundation than your skin tone. Then with some red makeup, I'm going to be applying this in the inner part of the zipper with a sponge. To make the appearance of tired eyes, I'm going to be applying some black and red makeup. You can also use some eyeshadow. If you don't have any for the makeup that I'm going to be using in this video, you can use any makeup that you have at home. Just have fun with this look and make it your own. Remember that this look and any look for Halloween, it doesn't have to be perfect since it's Halloween. Then I'm going to be applying this liquid blood that came with the kit. It looks very realistic. And to make the appearance of some blood clots, I'm going to be applying some black makeup. To make the appearance of some pale lips, I'm going to be applying this white makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video along with my other Halloween tutorials. If you haven't checked those out, be sure to check out my channel. Or you can click the links that I'm going to be leaving in the description box below. Or you can wait at the end of this video. 
To remove the zipper and the spirit gun, what you want to do is apply some spirit gun remover, which came in the kit, or you can buy it separately. Then you're going to grab a cotton swab and place that on the zipper. You're going to wait a couple minutes, leave it on, then it's going to remove really easily. You can also apply some olive oil. Everything that I use for this video, I'm going to leave it on the description box below. This is a kit that I purchased at Walmart for $4.97. Click on the links below to view any of my other Halloween tutorials. I'll see you in the next video.